and welcome. So today I am bringing back my TV show inspired singles series that I started doing. A lot of you hadn't heard of uh, Russian Doll. I'm very disappointed. It is on Netflix. It's not Australian. It's a Netflix original and it's based in New York. Anyway, today I'm doing The Good Place. And I'm going to assume that everyone who didn't know about Russian Doll also doesn't know about The Good Place. But The Good Place is a TV show that is about the afterlife. It's 20 minutes long per episode. Very light-hearted and easy to watch. I just love it. I'm obsessed. It makes me happy and warm to watch and it's got some fun twists and some great characters in it. But these are the shades I've chosen and I've done two looks with them. One I'm wearing now to sort of demonstrate. It's from a range of my singles and I've been enjoying this as like a way to make me use my singles because I just I haven't been using them. So I hope you enjoy because I'm probably just going to continue this series and you know. And um, I know I got a few recommendations for movies. Realistically, like the only movie I watch is Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Uh, other than that, I'm watching TV shows. I just, I like, I'm not big on movies. <laughs> yeah, I just, I don't really watch that many movies at all. Uh, TV shows are like my jam and I will just like binge watch them and love them. So let me talk about the palette initially. So The Good Place, their colours for their branding is a lot of green and yellow and blue. In the first episode, they have a uh, very funny shrimp scene, black, to sort of represent like the depths of hell. And I've got two of these like duochromes here, uh, Mr. Sandman and Peach Nakata. And they are sort of to represent like the ever-changing scene of the show. The makeup in the show is very simple, peachy nudes. So I've sort of checked in, that's where like this colour came in and like these ones because it's very bronzed looks that they've done. So let's swatch the shades and I'll take you through what they are. I think, could I just do them on my back of my hand? I think I could. I just feel like I'm the worst like at swatching. Even now I've done it upside down. So this is Tiki from Colourpop. This is Cano from Glamanatrix Cosmetics. This is Tempest from Sydney Grace Co. Peach Nectar from Enchanted Lustre Cosmetics. Centerfold from Colourpop. Lemonade from Glamanatrix. Perfect Storm from Sydney Grace. Mr. Sandman from Colourpop. This is Paper Tiger. This blue is Tiny Tangerines from Colourpop. And then I have Magnum from Sydney Grace Co. So these are the shades that I sort of chose as a palette inspired by this TV show. I'd absolutely love to know if you've watched this TV show, if you like it, um, what you think, and what you think of the colours I chose. Uh, is there like a shade missing or are you just enchanted by those uh, like shimmers there? Because I love them all. Alright, so let's get into the first look and then I'll show you this look. And then I'll come and say goodbye. Hey, hey. So first off, we're going with Tiki from Colourpop. And I'm just putting this down as my base and up to sort of my eyebrow area. Then using Magnum from Sydney Grace Co. I really love doing this triangle effect. It just makes my eye looks very sharp and neat. And I enjoy it. Magnum did perform quite well for being a black. It's a little bit patchy, but it's not too bad. And it does blend out really nicely. This is Camo from Glamanatrix Cosmetics. And I love this matte. It is beautiful. It's such a unique matte color and it just blends out beautifully. And I'm so sorry, but you're hearing my dryer in the background. I have no excuses. This is the ColourPop Fair 00 concealer and I'm using it to cut the crease. So we're going for an intense look today. Um, and I'm just gonna get all the washing done before we go away. It's been a nightmare. So I'm just blending that in with my finger. And this is a lemonade from Glamanatrix is this absolutely stunning yellow shade that you're about to see go on my eye. I didn't even spritz this and it just came out beautifully. It did take a little bit of building up, uh, but it's lovely. This is Tempest from Simdi Grace Co. And this is definitely one of my favorite shades that I've bought from them. I'm just putting it on my inner corner because I love that. And now going back into camo for under the eye. And I'm just blending that in to that black and you can see it's muting it out but it's blending in really nice so it's got like a nice depth going on. I do really like this look and I like it's little bam bam moment that it's got. 
This is the MAC mascara. I love it. I'm really happy with this look. Anyway, we are on to look number two. Anyway, I just love spinning things around. It's super fun. I've already primed with the MAC Paint Pot and then we are going in with a Colourpop Single in Centerfold, which is just this beautiful pinky peach colour. I really like it. And it's sort of the base for this one. Then going in with Perfect Storm from Sydney Grace Co. This is a matte. I like it. It's a pretty muted, more so than I think I thought it was going to be. But it does blend out beautifully and it is the colour that it looks like. Then Magnum it is starting to look banged up with all the spins it's done in this video. But I'm going in and just doing that triangle thing again and blending that in to just deepen up the outer edge. I have made a mess. Oh no. Now I'm just going to wipe that away. Luckily it wasn't too bad this time, I didn't have to do too much, but I did have to go back in and just redo that outer edge, which you know, we did just kind of see, so it's cool, but you know, sometimes you gotta do it this way. This is Colourpop Mr. Sandman, I really love this shade, and I'm just putting this on the outer edge and then it's gonna go into that inner part. I do have a double of this, because it is in the Colourpop Oh My Pleasure palette, but you know, oh well, things happen. But it's a beautiful duo cream. just look at it. Now I'm going in with Peach Nectar and this is from Enchanted Lustre Cosmetics and I'm just putting it in the middle. Some kind of weird halo eye that I decided to do. I'm not 100% sure this works but I do like it. Then I'm going back in with Camo and I'm just blending that underneath the eye. And then using my Marc Jacobs highlighter in Sunset, I'm just putting this on the waterline. I love this real little bit of a gold sparkle. It's just got a cool effect and it makes me happy. So I've got a little bit of camo on this brush and I'm just blending it in. I just wanted to make it a bit more of a cohesive look than it currently was and blend it in. I like what's going on. What do you reckon? Anyway, I'd love to know what you think the best look is. This is the long Combus guy. Anyway, back to real time proof. All right, so those are the two looks. I hope you've enjoyed. Um, let me know what you think down below. I'd love to know what your thoughts are. Um, thank you so much for watching. I absolutely appreciate and adore you. Mwah.